I'm Judy Harrison, and this story is about one of the sweetest guys in the world, my husband. Something happened that brought us closer together and made me realize what a wonderful husband he really is. I didn't give this too much more thought until after supper when Jim brought the subject up while we were washing the dishes. He said that he'd heard at the office that Ed Carter had died, and he repeated practically the same thing I had thought about this afternoon. We didn't own the cemetery property. We didn't even know anything about them. I don't mind telling you it was pretty much a shocker to realize that if we didn't do something about it now, one of us would be doing exactly what Mary Carter had to do. She'd have to choose a cemetery, and she would have to select a space. She'd have all the money matters to take care of, all by herself, all alone. Now, you may think that Judy and Jim Harrison are unusual to be talking about cemeteries in the middle of the kitchen. They really aren't. These forward-looking couples know that cemeteries of today are designed not for the ones who have passed away, but for the ones who remain, our children and grandchildren. Of course, my husband is going to go to work tomorrow and brag how smart he was to buy our memorial estate ahead of time. And you know, I agree with him. He is a pretty smart fella. <laughs> 